Hey everyone, Adam here going overland. Uh, today I want to talk to you about laundry, what we do for the laundry, what we're going to do on the big trip around Australia. Um, if you're doing a similar trip for even a trip for a month or a couple of months, this is um, pretty handy information. So yeah, it's a big thing because laundry is very expensive. If you're paying for it, we don't have a caravan so we don't have you know, room or the weight to carry a laundry, a washing machine. So we found the next best thing on the market and there's a few problems with this. So originally we were planning on every every week or two, we'd stay one or two days in the caravan park and pretty much while you're there you do all your washing and it's a big process, you're doing it for a whole day. You, you might even have to wait for a machine or the machines are out of service or they've got no water. So we had to come up with a better idea and this coupled with the lithium battery means we might not have to go to a caravan park until like once every four weeks now, maybe maybe more. Um, so, number one thing is you've got to have water, and number two is you've got to have, um, you've got to be able to dry your clothes and quickly. So, another thing we've done is we've changed our type of clothes. We've gone for quick dry clothes rather than the heavy cotton stuff. And I'll show you the weight difference as well, because that'll help with the drying. So, we'll go through the weight of it, how this thing works how to improve it. So this is a companion easy wash. I really like the design of this. There's another one that you spin around. It's more like a dryer than, the, than a washer. It doesn't do a good job. We also used to have a bucket with holes in it and you got a big paint stirrer. That was really hard work. A lot of water. It was bigger and bulky than this and it was a bit of a pain. It really hurt your hands. So I really like the design of this and it wasn't until I got it home that I found the flaw in the design. Not the design, uh, probably more the how it's built uh, or how it's manufactured but it's an easy step if you're um, a bit of handy with the tools, easy to sort, sort out. So yeah, let's start off with the clothes. Alright, so I've got two sets of clothes here. One's our lightweight clothing we switched to, a quick dry as well. That's the important thing. It's SPF 50 plus, quick dry though. It'll dry super fast. So let's weigh it. This is a full set of clothes for me. So shirt, shorts, boxer shorts, and a pair of socks. Okay, 609 grams, 609. Now this is a full set of my normal clothes that I wear, the thicker cotton clothes. Nine hundred and forty grams. So it's not so much the weight in the car that matters. We'll measure these clothes when they're wet, and then we'll see how much water these clothes hold. The more water they hold, the longer they're going to take to dry. The more you got to sit around and wait for it. We don't want to be sitting around. We want to be doing stuff. So as you can see, it's a pretty sturdy little drum. It's got a pressure cap on top. You undo, and then it un it'll come off. That's why it doesn't leak. It's nice and sturdy, and that's what I was looking at in the shop, how sturdy this thing is. It wasn't until I got it home and I used it that I realised how flimsy the frame is for it. It's real flimsy, and it, it was cracking when it was full, and I was really worried about it. I might put it on the concrete to show you. flimsy this plastic does and it's no good having something like this long term look at this just imagine a full line spinning around see that movement in the frame it's real thin plastic so no point in having something like this long term for a big trip if the weakest part breaks this is a really solid drum even the handle feels really good which if it did break you could maybe get um, 
from your jockey wheel, one of those handles. The way it washes it, you spin it around and your clothes get tumbled around. So they're really getting thumped around in there. So really good design and how it works as well. So what I've done to make this better is I've made me my own frame up for it. And I just copy their dimensions and their size and how it goes together. And um, I just used some metal ad line around. Um, it's got little um, rivet nuts inside. And I just use, one sec. Some wing nut bolts, some wing bolts, I suppose you call them, to put it all together. So you don't need any tools. Um, there's the holes for it and then the whole sort of frame so real easy to do and this thing is so much better now all right let's get this apart and show you and that's done and look at this this is sturdy as this isn't going to wobble around like the plastic one so super strong now it's not that much heavier but when you're on uneven ground or anything, it's not going to break. Took me a couple of hours, so definitely, if you're thinking about one of these, definitely think about making a metal frame up for it. All right, so let's get some water in here and get some washing done. So we use this Eco Stool. Um, it's environmentally friendly. Uh, but once again, don't do it near a river or near a creek. Doesn't matter if it's environmentally friendly. Don't let this water going to the creek water right it's not good for the animals we've been we've been at cape york and there's been people we've been swimming this beautiful creek and all of a sudden we see these bubbles come down we hear these people upstream we yell out to moi what are you guys doing oh don't worry it's environmentally friendly that's not the point it shouldn't get in the waterway so don't do it near waterways go carry your water and do it somewhere else let's throw this stuff in here Is probably one of these capfuls. You need a good amount of water in here. Now with those thick cotton clothes you need more water so another benefit of using those quick dry clothes you use less water or you can fit more clothes in here. Um, so right now I've got this thing about half full of water the clothes are on about three quarters maybe a little bit less We'll put our pressure cap on, that's it, she's got to lock in otherwise you'll get water everywhere. And you just spin this thing around. Now this is where having the sturdy frame really matters. If you've got more water and more weight in here, that little frame just can't handle it. How easy is that? It's not much weight on your arm. I reckon our kids could do it. In fact on the trip I reckon they will be doing it. And they'll probably have fun doing it too. Alright, that should about do it. So what we'll do then, normally we'll drain the water out. It's got a drain port down the bottom here. You plug this hose and you drain the water out. But I'm going to try and clean out the clothes, wring them out into the drum and show you how dirty the water is. So let's get that done and have a little look. Oh yeah, better not forget, let's weigh the clothes. Okay, our quick dry clothes, uh, 984 grams. So it's got 300 or so grams of water in there. All right, our cotton clothes. 2.6 kilos so that's got 1.7 kilos of water in there that it's got to either be wrung out or dried so right there is where you see your difference in your clothes massive amount this is the color of the water she's quite dirty those clothes weren't too bad so we do one wash cycle and two rinse cycles uh, it uses about six liters of water or so. So I think we worked out uh, one load, one full load to wash it and rinse it is probably about 20 liters. But bear in mind, if you're going to do two loads, 
that last rinse cycle, you can use that water for your for your washing. Put your, your detergent and your dirty clothes in for, from your second load into that water, and then you save, you know, maybe eight liters. So one of the extra things we've done is we've added the, uh, the elastic cord around the bottom. With this thing's heavy and if there's strong wind it will blow over. So they peg it down. Simple, easy, lightweight. We've also glued the bottom of it down because it doesn't need to be... Um, that one there doesn't need to vary in height. Just the top one does. Uh, another thing we've done is we've gotten rid of the really tight bag it came in. We're using one of the camp chair bags and that stops all the cords or your um, clothesline getting tangled up. So it's just easier to set up and, and put away. It's just a lot faster. All right, guys, so I hope that gives you a bit of a helping hand, a bit of an idea of how to save some money on the road. So not only will you not have to pay for washing machines, caravan sites as much, um, you can do this all free. There's no electricity needed. Just find some clean creek water. Um, yeah, tap water. Just fill up your jerry cans before you get to camp. So I hope you like the video. Hope you subscribe and follow Adventure. Uh, it's only a couple of weeks now before we depart. I know I've been saying that a lot, but um, for us, it's been a long time coming. Uh, and it's just the time's just slowly trickling by, getting closer and closer. So. And usually when you're camping, you wear your clothes for more than one day usually. You just don't have the ability to wash clothes every day. So a set of clothes might last you two days. If it's winter and it's cool, it might last you three days. So um, you'd be quite surprised how far you can push your clothes. And with this setup as well, you don't need to bring as many clothes. Um, I'm probably going to bring four or five sets of clothes. Uh, one jumper, one jacket, tracksuit pants, one pair of jeans and you know, you see socks and underwear. So um, save on weight, save on, on storage, and spend less time doing washing. All right guys, we'll see you on the next video. I know you're on